Hi and welcome to this lab on web scraping. What we will do uh, today in this lab is we will go to the live internet, uh, particularly we will go to YouTube and we will build a machinery, well more we will configure a machinery that is already written. We don't, we will not code ourselves but we will configure a code and actually you know you never, you never build kind of like the lowest level of all the little wheels and ones and zeros. No, you always configure some kind of code and we will go to a pretty high level of configuring an out-of-the-box web scraper in order to create a database. So converting basically content that is on a website, on YouTube website, into a database which we can then use uh, to analyze. How, how, how can you think about web scraping? Let's go to a YouTube website here, The Young Turks, that is right now the most popular news site on YouTube here in the United States. So, all right, let's go to the most popular news site. And how can you think about web scraping? Well, think about web scraping as copy pasting uh, as a start, right? So you have here, for example, you have some information that you want to collect, for example, the title and the number of views and how long ago it was posted. And now we can go here and kind of like select this here and then copy, copy with the right mouse button and then go to your favorite database and then you basically paste that, right? Uh, let's do a paste. And then, okay, so we have here the, uh, the title and the number of views. We can reorganize that and make a database out of that. So this word here would be called title and this would here be called number of views and this is the video video one and then for the video two what i would do is okay go back and that's my video two and i go here and i select it and i take the right mouse button and i copy it and i paste it and uh, then okay now i start to have a database now i do video uh, three and um, uh, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna continue this. But that's the idea. Now think about copy and pasting, and I highly recommend you that you do copy and pasting at the beginning because you can only scrape what you can copy and paste, right? So if there is something that is kind of like behind a paywall or behind a privacy wall, as long as you don't have access to the API, which is the database behind that, you you cannot scrape it. Uh, and it's good also you do the copy pasting by first in order to, to think about how do I want my database to look. So I have different variables here. What do I want to collect? Like what, what do I want to collect? So start doing it by hand first as a first in 10. But then the idea of a web scraper is that we automate that, that we tell the web scraper basically rattle through and get us all the titles, for example, right? And the URL below it and the number of views and the time it was uploaded and the length and all the images and it just rattles through and gives you all of that without having to, to scrape. Now, we use a kind of like an out of the box scraper and there are many web scrapers around. So just if you just go around best uh, web scraper and you look around, you can see here the seven best software tools to acquire data without coding. Oh, great, that's great. 10 web scraping tools to extract data, uh, 32 top 32 web scraping software. And uh, so, so there are several around and you can go to them. Several of them are, are, are behind, they, they, you can pay for them, you get a free trial. This is Mosenda here. Uh, Parse Hub, also you see the pricing page. They give you some for free. Let's say you, you can scrape so many 500 pages for free or the first month you can pay for, pay, pay for free and then, uh, and then you have to pay them. And uh, also if you run into problems, then you can contact them. So many companies, for example, small and medium sized companies that use that, uh, sign up for such a pay service. We will use an extension that also has a free version uh, and that is uh, called webscraper.io. That's a Google Chrome extension. So as a first step, you need a Google Chrome browser because it uses the browser. Web scrapers often like start with a browser and this is a, a browser that is uh, available. Uh, maybe you already have it installed. If not, then just look for Google Chrome download and uh, download the Google Chrome browser. Then open, once you have it, download the Google Chrome browser, install it, 
and go to this page here, webscraper.io, webscraper.io, uh, and uh, from there on we install it and it will be an extension. So, okay, so I, I have it already open. I'm, I'm in Chrome right now. I download the free version uh, of it and it will open up the store and I add web scrapers to Chrome. Thanks to Martins Balodis who, 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 who did this web scraper, uh, the, this Chrome extension for us. So we add it and we add the extension. All right, click on it. And now it, uh, this little spider web shows up here. And that's our web scraper. Now it is already in Chrome as your extension and you have the little spider web here. You can actually then uh, close this page and go to the page that, that we want to scrape. One thing you have to be aware of is that if you scrape everything that shows up in your browser uh, is what you scrape. So for example, if you're signed into your Google account, that affects, of what, you, that affects what you see. And uh, if you have an ad blocker, for example, uh, that, uh, that might mess up your scraping experience as well. So you can leave these things on, but I, for this exercise, I highly recommend you, I mean, if you just downloaded Chrome for the first time, it's a virgin, uh, a Chrome version, then nothing, there should be no add-ons and bells and whistles. But if you have used Chrome before and you have a lot of bells and whistles to it, for, for this exercise, I highly recommend you to turn off any ad blocker you might have and to, to sign out of your account in order to have a, a, a browser, browser which is as clean as possible. Now, as for this little tutorial right now here, uh, feel free to go along and pause and, 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 and already scrape with me or just sit back, relax, look at this so you already have seen it once. There's also a PDF document that accompanies uh, this tutorial here and you then can go back to the PDF document which step-by-step -step walks you through so you don't have to pause the video and, and work with multiple windows. So just right now as well if you've never done something like this, especially if you've never done something like that, just sit back and watch me what I'm doing and then later on go to the PDF document uh, and, uh, and you can do it yourself. All right, so let's go uh, to the page and, and we first have to consider what we want to scrape. If you go here to the home page of the Young Turks, uh, we can see that here in the homepage there are different kind of videos. What the web scraper actually does is it looks at the structure behind this page. So it looks at the structure behind this page and it understands how the structure works and it works with, this, with, with, with that in order to automate the scraping. Now here on this homepage we can see there's a lot of diverse structure. For example, there's a featured video, then here they are horizontal, they are vertical. That's not so great for scraping, a lot of different sections. The best and the easiest to scrape, especially for beginners, is if there's a very homogeneous structure. So if you go here to videos, not to the home tab, but to the video tab, uh, you can see that here is a, that's already, uh, this on the video, it's a, it's already an organized list of videos that we have and yes, they look pretty structured and there it is easy, easy to set up a web scraper to just like rattle through and that applies to everything. If you want to scrape any other commercial site, um, social media site, as long as there is a structure uh, behind it, kind of like an architecture, it's easy to scrape that. Okay, so how do we now um, open our scraper? We, let's, let's first of all decide what we want to scrape. Well, that's always good. It's, it's, it's a good idea to, <laughs> to, to have the goal in mind. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't know the goal, uh, no wind is favorable, right? So, so the goal uh, that we have is we want to scrape all the featured videos of a YouTube channel. So let's take the most popular YouTube news channel, uh, the Young Turks in this exercise. Uh, you will scrape other channels as well. And uh, we, we want to collect the title of it, of, of, of all these videos. We could also collect the number of views and how long ago it was uploaded and the images and the, and the duration. But let's just start with the title of it. And then we have a list of the different titles of the featured videos. And then we want to go inside the title and also look at all these recommended videos which are here on the side, right? You have a lot of recommended videos here on the side because that people are also exposed to these recommended videos and they are not necessarily from the same channel. You see here a lot of recommended videos from Fox News. So they are videos from other channels um, and, and people are exposed to that and that allows us 
to study kind of like the media landscape, for example, the network of how different media channels hang together. So that's why we're interested in the featured videos and what videos are networked, connected to it. So these are the two scrapers we want to build. Again, featured videos. Then also we have to collect the, 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 the addresses of these featured videos, go inside of each of them, and for each of them collect it. Now we could do that by hand. Again, I could go inside here and then copy paste all of this. And then I would go out again and I go into the next one and then I copy paste all of the, yes, I can do that by hand. And that's great, again. If you can do it by hand, you can scrape it. If you cannot do it by hand, let, try to do it by hand uh, uh, first. That, that's, that, that's a very good direction that we can go and be scraped. All right, so, okay, so let's go. Let, let's get started. Ready? Ready, ready, go. Let's, let's open up our web scraper. So if you go here to our spider web, our web scraper, spider web, you can see how you can open the web scraper. For, for Windows, for example, you press Control, Shift, and I, or F12. For Mac, you press Command, Option, plus I. So you can also just take the right mouse button and uh, place your mouse ev anywhere on the site, and that allows you to inspect the site. It doesn't really matter where you click. It can be anywhere on the site. And then you go to Inspect. Again, here we have Control, Shift, and I. That's the same thing. And it shows you, wow, it shows you what's behind the web page. That's a lot of stuff behind the web page that you usually never see. And we want to go to Web Scraper. So you see a lot of stuff here. Find Web Scraper and you go to Web Scraper. All oh, right, that looks better. Now, if you do that, this little window here might be somewhere else. It might be on the side. It might be, you can shift it. Let's put it on the bottom just in order to, to have it somewhere. All right. Okay. Now, the first thing we have to do in our web scraper is to create a site map. Literally, what a site map is, is in, in this scraper, it's a map that guides our scraper through the site. You know, this, the, 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 the scraper needs a, a map in order to follow it. And every map is an abstraction from the real terrain. And that we only include in the map what really matters to us, what we need to know in order to get around our terrain. And also, in order to create a site map as a first, we create a map of, of what's there. We make a list of the things that we want to scrape. Okay, so let's create our site map and let's give it a name. Let's call it YouTube Tutorial, just to give it a name. And it wants to know the URL. So what's the URL? What's the, what's the web address? Well, the web address of the site that we want to scrape is not the homepage of Young Turks, but youtube.com user the Young Turks slash videos. That's the one we want to scrape and we mark it and we copy it and then we paste it. I right, mouse button and paste and here it is. And yeah, we created our uh, first sitemap. That's the root. That's the root where we are in. At this point, you might as well want to reload the page because we are scraping the live internet here, right? And the internet is changing and sometimes your web scraper might get confused because you tell it to scrape things that are actually not there anymore. So you see here, while I was chit-chatting, three new videos were already uploaded. This video got moved to the side. So sometimes when your scraper gets stuck, just maybe just go out again, reload, and then program your scraper again. So you and your scraper talking about the same reality here, right? The internet changes pretty fast. So that might be one bug that you encounter. Uh, okay, so what we want to do now is we tell the scraper what, uh, uh, what it selects and, and that we do that by add a new selector. So we click on this here and it adds a new selector. We call this featured videos and in the featured videos we want to select the links because we want to select uh, well, the titles and the links behind it as the first thing that we want to select. So now you press here on select and now, when you go on the web page, you realize you see that this, this the scraper already identifies that what has a link behind it. So these things have links behind it. So it says, well, this has doesn't have a link behind it. That's why it doesn't get green. But these things here have links behind it. So it uh, when you go around, you can see like okay, it real it's 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 it, it no because it knows the structure behind the web page, right? That's why. Okay, so let's uh, let's collect the titles here. Let's click on this here. Uh, so I click on this it, uh, and it turns red then and then you tell it then uh, what else you want to collect and that's where the magic happens. So if you just would do manually copy paste, we would have to go to each one now. Check out what happens if I just do it 
uh, in this scraper. I go to the second one and, wow, I just realized, well, these are all titles. You probably want all of them, right? And it, it, it marked all the titles here now already. Uh, well, it marked all the titles of videos that are on the web page. We have to realize that in social media websites nowadays, often not all the content is loaded. For example, if you scroll down, more content could be loaded. Right? So for example, if I'm now here, let me scroll all the way down to show you something. So it loads more, it loaded now uh, new videos. Did you see it, it, it loaded new videos? And these videos uh, beyond the new ones, the new ones here, they are not marked because the scrape, they, were, they didn't exist at the time that the scraper actually marked the tiles, but that's fine. Uh, for now, uh, we don't want to scrape all of them. You can then, in different scrapers, uh, get to different, different types. That means you say scroll down, scroll down, and then only scrape. Uh, but for the first one, okay, for the first scraper that we're building, we just take, well, just the videos that showed up in our first page, and we're going to be happy with that. That's big, big enough big data, big enough data, let's put it like this. Maybe not big data, but big enough data for us. <laughs> so, all right, good. All of that being said, we have now marked the titles of these, of these videos here until now. What do we do then? Uh, well, we select multiple because we want to go into each one of them. So don't forget to select multiple. And then we save it and we save it in two ways with done selecting and with save selector. So done selecting, you press that first, done selecting exclamation mark. And while well, we are done, the red one disappears. And then we save our selector and voila, here's our, here's our first selector. We can also go to data preview and we can see Oh, all the things, all the nice things it's scraped. It's scraped here under featured. It's scraped the title of, uh, the, um, of the videos and the reference URLs, which is our unique identifier. Perfect. Now, the second thing we want to do, that's our featured videos. Now we want to go inside. We want to go inside the video and scrape uh, the recommended videos. So we go inside here. Well, you might as well stop the video if it's running. And then we want to see, we want to scrape these recommended videos that appear here on the, on the right hand side for us. Okay. That also means that we have to go inside this, this, uh, this selector because we go now inside each one of the videos, right? We want to go inside each one of these here and then scrape the recommended. Okay. So let's, let's go there first. Um, and we go inside the selector here too. So just click on this row and you go one level deeper. You saw, so we, we are now in root and we are inside features and inside there we add a new selector. Okay, so add a new selector. We call this recommended, just to give it a name. And again, we want to collect the link, the link of, of, of these videos. And uh, well, nothing happens here. Well, I have to press select first, select, and now it allows me to, it identifies things on the web page. Again, everything that's a link, it identifies. Here, this entire thing seems to be a link. That's just how it's structured. And since we have links, we could do it differently with first elements and then and isolate the title. Let's don't go there for now. It just realized all of that is a link. Okay, let's scrape all of it. It's, it's easy to scrape a lot of information. Let's don't be picky and try to isolate only the title. Let's scrape this entire box. If it tells us that's, that's what it wants to do, okay. Click on that. And um, now we, well, again, we want to show it. Well, we want to tell it we want the other ones as well. So now we go to the second one. Oh, and it complains. What's the complaint? Different type element selection is disabled. Different type element selections. Oh, it seems like the YouTube guys programmed this website that this here, the up next video, is a different type than these down here. These are recommended videos and they seem to be of a different category than the up next video, which is of a different kind. So since the scraper goes to the architecture behind the web page, it kind of like gets confused because it says, well, these are not the same types. You can even see there's a line here. Yeah, that makes sense. So the up next video is different from the next one. Uh, how can we go about that? Well, we have to click this, this check mark here, and that enables that we collect apples and oranges, up next and recommended videos 
in, in the same basket. So click that here and let's try again. Let's go over there and click on this. Uh, well, now these are different kinds. It connected them and let's see if we now go to the next one and click this one. Now it understood all of these below here, they are of the same type, right? They are of the same type element and all of these here now are also selected. Okay, great. Let's click multiple again because we want to collect all of them and save. We save with two different savings, done selecting and save selector. Okay, so done selecting. We are done with that. Uh, and save selector. So now we have inside the root, we have another selector for the recommended video. Data preview. Great. Here's all our data. In case nothing shows up here, you didn't collect anything. So, so just go back and do that again, that step and try to often you just try to program it again. And that's the best debugging, especially if you have such a such a short code as what we are working in. Uh, now we could go in here. Oh, I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> let's look at let's look at our scraper what we've done for now. We can look at the selector graph here, not very sophisticated. Uh, for example, we could go from the we go from the root to the featured and from the featured into the recommended. Great. Okay. So then let's go here to the sitemap, uh, sitemap YouTube tutorial and um, scrape. You guys are ready? You guys are ready to scrape our site? Okay, let's do it. Scrape. Click on that one. And nothing happens. Oh, I have to start scraping. Here we go. There we go. Now the scraper goes in it, went to our list that goes into the first video, scrapes the stuff on the side, second video, scrapes the stuff on the side, third video, it scrapes the stuff on the side. And I'm gonna stop commenting now and I just enjoy, enjoy it. All right, now we are done here. No data scraped yet. Well, that's disappointing. Well, it's because we didn't refresh. Let's refresh. Whoa, here we go. That's a lot of data that we scraped. Okay, let's export that. Might look better. We export as a CSV. CSV is, is the standard as spreadsheet format. Download it now. View tutorial, we just download, download it on your, in your computer. On, on some folder or desktop, open it up. Here we are, that's our database. Let's look at it. So here we have the first row, let's move that a little out. That's some kind of identifier in this row. Let's see how many rows we actually have. How many videos did we collect? Let's scroll all the way down, 200, 300, 400, uh, 500, 577. Uh, okay, so 577 different videos we scraped. Uh, that was pretty quick for that. Oh, we have a row, so it's 576. Uh, then what is in the next column? Uh, that's the web scraper start URL. So that's always the same as the channel, the Young Turks uh, video. That's all the same for all 500 something videos. And then in the next row, we have the featured videos. So these are the featured videos um, that we collected. And actually, well, then we have the featured, well, okay, let's look at what we have. We have the featured URL here. So a little bit out so we get a better idea. The featured URL, then we have the recommended videos and the recommended URL. All right, that makes sense. Recommended videos and the recommended URL. Okay, so that's our database. Uh, let's sort according to the featured video. So we go, um, let's mark everything, you can mark everything. And then we go to, this is Excel, you can do it in, in your favorite spreadsheet program, sort it, and we sort uh, according to this here, sort, and then by sort by which column, by featured. Okay, sort by featured, and we, we organize it according to, whoa, it tried to fit it into the different cells, 
let's try to wrap it. Oh, it's too smart for us. It tries to do zoom in. Let's do don't wrap text. Unwrap the text. So you select everything and you unwrap the text. That's better. So we tr don't try to fit it into into the different into the different cells. That's all. That was the confusion. All right. So now we actually see here uh, we have several rows with the same video. Why is that? Well, we have the number one Trump leaker exposed video here. That's the same URL of the URL of the video. But this video has a few different, how many, like 18 different recommended videos. That makes sense because this one video has different recommended videos. That's why it's repeated here. So what the web scraper basically did, it went into this site here. Let's copy this URL. Let's go here and let's copy it. Right mouse button, copy. And let's go back here to this website. Let's open it up with a new, with a new site and paste it. So that's what the web scraper did. It went inside here. And then when it was here, it scraped these recommended videos, right? 18 of them. Now, all of them are in the same site in the number one Trump League exposed. This is why this is here basically repeated. Same as in this column, this is always repeated because all of the features videos are all from this side. So these are the different levels, right? Level number one in this side, there are different featured videos. And in each featured video, there are different recommended videos. So that's how it's structured this database. Um, yeah, so the number one from League Exposed, that should be part of our main site. Let's go back here to our main site and see if we can find it because it should be here among our first videos. Um, so it scraped all of that, it scraped all of that. And uh, here, here it is. Number one, Trump leak exposed, right? Oh, yeah. So that's what the scraper did. It went inside here and realized that these recommended videos, they can change. Actually, these two times I went into it now with 10 seconds of different, they're different recommended videos and they are different than these recommended videos. It was just a snapshot. In the moment that we scraped, we took a snapshot of the internet. So in that moment, these were the 18 recommended videos. That, that we had, but that, that obviously can change. And then you see here where it goes in chunks of maybe 18 or 20, the featured videos, and we have here also different, different recommended videos here on the side. And it goes down, let's zoom out a little bit more. Um, in these chunks, it goes down until our 576 videos. And that's our database, our channel over here, our featured videos, URL, recommended videos, and their web address too. Well, congratulations, we just scraped the internet and it, it actually was quicker than if you would have done uh, the copy paste 576 times by hand, uh, just as I, I started. So at least here now, and, and imagine you do that with hundreds or thousands or millions uh, of different sites. Well, good that we have machines to help us with taming this informational overload that the internet presents us with, right? So yes, we, we need machines like web scraping in order to get a handle of, of this informational flood.